Thank you very much for your interest in our acquisition proposal. When Alphabet first approached us with a box full of opportunity, our team scrutinized all possible options to provide a well-tailored solution for Alphabet. Our solution to you is interdigital. As a telecom tech developer with 5G licenses, this company will position Alphabet in a new angle under the coming revolution. The deal is valued at $2.6 billion and our rationale will follow. As you know, the search engine market is already saturated with Google as a sole monopolist. And we understand that Alphabet is trying new ideas to transform the revenue model. And under the falling trend of profit margin, we need to focus on cost reduction and other bets. Alphabet's position in the home assistant VR market is not weak, but it's not strong either. Both markets are very relatively young and quickly growing. This means there's a lot of room for Alphabet to make a bigger impact. Both markets are projected to grow 44% and 54% cater until 2022, and we expect all smart home devices to be IoT ready by 2020. What does that mean? Consumer lifestyle is changing. They're becoming more dynamic, faster, and more sophisticated, and consumers are demanding these products to keep up with their new lifestyles. So who is IDCC and what can they do for us? For a market cap of $2.64 billion compared to its $70 billion peers, it holds a substantial number of patents in sensor technology and network technology, which can boost Alphabet's position in these markets. It holds over 20,000 patents and applications, and it offers a wide range of solutions to Alphabet's biggest competitors like Samsung, LG, and Apple. 5G is fifth generation cellular network with faster speed, lower latency, and the ability to connect multiple devices at once. The 5G will be commercialized in 2020, and the market size will post a high growth rate with take of 92.7%. This is the reason why there are many technology companies trying to preoccupy the 5G technology with patent licensing. So we know the potential of the market, but why is it important? I want to note two things here cost synergies, and then revenue synergies. With Alphabet's fourth industry-related products, such as Waymo, Daydream, Google Home, with interdigital network solutions and sensor solutions, they can achieve cost reduction and also deliver the quality and the accuracy to their future products. We've compiled a series of deals that are similar in the nature of synergies. Synergies arising from acquisition of solutions in the form of patents that boost the requirer's current business ventures. We've also explored deal value ranges that fit Alphabet's past deal values. Having done so, we arrive at a median EBITDA multiple of 14.9 and a median premium of 20%. We've also compared IDCC to its to other companies doing similar R&D work in network technology and sensor technology. In the 2018-2019, multiples show relatively high valuation of interdigital compared to its peers, but current PE and its multiples show relatively low valuation to its peers. Also looking at the ROIC tables, looking at the prof profitability ratios, interdigital is above its peers' means and median, which is very attractive to Alphabet. On DSS analysis, three things to highlight. Revenue, effective tax rate, and CAPEX and the other investments. Negative growth rate of the revenue is due to an expiration of the current technology solution agreement, which recurs the revenue of the patent royalties and also technology solution revenues. However, as onwards, we are seeing the constant growth with a constant growth of the revenue, and I'll discuss later. For the effective tax rate, as you can see, we see a huge drop from 17 to 18. This is due to the amendment of US, US corporate tax rate from 36% to 21%. As you well know, InterDigital is heavily investing on our research and development. That's why we're forecasting the growth of the CAPEX and the investments at only 12%. And all based on the DSF analysis, we've derived the enterprise value of InterDigital is roughly $2.3 billion.
For the terminal body calculation, we derive 3.4, which is based on the size of the interdigital edge industry and also other industry comparables. For the growth rate of 3%, interdigital has an evolving portfolio with current and pending patents of network solutions and non-network solution technologies. This, we believe that this will drive the interdigital revenue of 3% growth rate in the long term. And according to our basis analysis, the perpetuity analysis and exit multiple analysis shows that the percentage premium over the market share price is going to be roughly 15% overall. 9.8% work represents that interdigital has a relatively moderate risk level compared to other companies. And also, debt to total cap is only 9.8%, which is significantly low. And for our cost equity calculation, the base assumption is that the date is 23rd of February. If you look at the football field, we've got DCF analysis, comparables, and market history. The mean is 1.3 billion, and the max is 4.36 billion. And we've derived that the enterprise value of interdigital with the median of 2.6 billion dollars. We do not expect interdigital's balance sheet to significantly damage or impact Alphabet's already healthy balance sheet. However, we do forecast an increase of one billion dollars, approximately one billion dollars in their total balance sheet. We also see some accretion of 33 cents in the coming year. However, expected synergies are expected to increase synergies to uh, accretion to 38 cents and 44 cents in 2019 and 2020. We expect interdigital to add less than 1% to Alphabet's operations and revenue. However, that is because over 90% of Alphabet's operations come from the search engine and digital advertising segments. However, considering this factor, 0.4% adds significant value to the other bed segment of Alphabet. We don't see much sensitivity of accretion to offer price. However, we do some fluctuations we do see some fluctuations according, according to premium. Starting at the lowest premium to the highest level premium, we see increase of accretion to 50% to 70% across the table. Starting at the equity value of approximately $2.7 billion with an implied premium of 20%, we arrived at an implied equity value of three, approximately 3.5%, $3.5 billion. And taking into account their cash, total debt, and minority interest, we arrive at an enterprise value of two, approximately $2.6 billion. Without a rationale, synergies will only materialize under a full acquisition. Alphabet will enhance IDCC's potential, and IDCC will internalize Alphabet's cost. After reviewing comparables, we measured the room for leverage. However, under the current excess amount of cash, we recommend a 100% cash acquisition. In more detail, after reviewing two options of 100% cash and a mix of cash and stock, we derive that 100% cash option is more creative, hence favorable to shareholders. However, due to the low PE ratio, the other option is also a creative. On a final note, this deal is not only accredited to shareholders, but this will bring new synergies to the management team as well. Just like you did with Android and YouTube, we need to be prepared to penetrate the new market before the market comes at you. Thanks very much for your time and consideration. We hope to hear back from you in the near future.